Assalamu alaikum. Uh, so for Ramadan this year, <coughs> I agreed to answer um, uh, 20 uh, questions about Islam. Um, so uh, I'm going to do my best to answer them. I'm not definitely not a, uh, you know, professional scholar. I didn't graduate from Medina University or anything like that. Uh, I'm just going to answer them the best I can according to the knowledge that I've that I have and what I've learned. Um, uh, starting with the first two questions, uh, they are: um, What do we Muslims believe uh, about the Son of God? And uh, the second question is: uh, What do uh, Muslims believe about the Trinity? Um, it's kind of the same question worded two different ways really um, but uh, to begin with um, what we believe about the Son of God first off we have to say that in Islam what we believe is that God is one that God is one as Jesus Christ says in the Christian Bible Hero Israel, the Lord our God is one. So also in Islam, we we follow this same belief um, that God is one, um, and He's not three, because you can't have, uh, you know, as the Christians would say regarding to the Trinity. Obviously, this question is probably coming from a Christian person. Um, in Christianity, they believe that God is three persons, but at the same time that he is one. And so to us, you know, this is illogical. This is an illogical belief. You can't have three separate things, and at the same time it still is one. And all the scriptures point to the fact that God is one. Jesus, when he came, he was sent to the Jews, you know, to bring them back to the true religion of God. And he never claimed divinity. He never said that I am God or instructed people to worship him. So, you know, that, that idea that, that, you know, God is three is, uh, according to Islam, that's a false idea. That is the root of false religion, is that people would worship something other than God, you know, thinking that they are worshiping God. So in Islam, we don't believe that God, you know, uh, is divisible. You know, he, he's one. And he does not beget. He doesn't have a son. Um, because if God had a son, then now we have more than one God. We have, you know, a, a son, we have another God. We have God the Father. And then now you're saying that, you know, God's son, so then this, this makes two gods. And we can't serve two gods. The Bible says that no man can serve two masters. Either he will love one and favor the other, or he will, you know, favor one and neglect the other. And the Quran says clearly in several different places, it makes it clear that God is one. Uh, the most famous one that all we all all of us Muslims know is um, chapter Iklas uh, where it says Audhu billahi min shaytanil wajim kul huwa allahu ahad allahu samad lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakulahu kuf one ahad. <clears throat> and the translation of that is, uh, with the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, say, He is the God, the one and only God that there is, the uniquely one. He was not born, nor does He give birth, and there is nothing similar to Him. So, from a Muslim perspective, when we understand God, he has to fit into that criteria, that he is one. Not one like 
you know, one glass or, or like I have one finger here or two fingers, but he is unique one, uniquely one, meaning that there is none, not, nothing else like unto him. You can't compare him to anything else. He is in a category all by himself, one God. There's not two, three, only one. Um, and there, there's another passage uh, in the Quran um, where Allah says that um, he sent, actually sent the Quran uh, to send glad tidings to those who fear God and to warn those people, talking about the Christians, who say that the one true God hath begotten a son. To warn them because this is a false a false belief that would take you to hell if you believe that God is anything other than what he is you know how can you serve God if you don't know who he is you know if you can believe God could be anything you, you're worshiping a tree a rock a person all these things that were created by God there's God and everything besides God he created so if you worship if you're not worshiping God you're worshiping something that he created which is not God in the end the difference between true religion and false religion is that the true religion of God calls people to worship the one God alone without partners and all false religions call people to worship some aspect of God's creation whether it be a human being human beings were created by God human beings have a definite beginning they were born and they live their life and they die so there's no it's not possible that a human being could be God because God was never born God was never born he always was to believe that God could be born or that God could die is a misunderstanding of who God is because in order for God to be who he is he cannot die he has to always have been he, you know, how can this world run? This world can't run on its own. This world is run by God. So if God died, then everything that he created would come to nothingness. So the logical conclusion and the, the belief of all the prophets of God throughout history is that God is one. As Jesus Christ said, Hero Israel, the Lord, our God is one. He didn't say the Lord, I am the Lord God that is one. He said the Lord, our God, meaning his God too. So we don't believe that God can have a son. And we don't believe that God is a male or a female. That is an attribute that is, you know, for hu human beings or, you know, for God's creation. There's, he created the creation in males and females. Um, but God himself is neither male nor female. So uh, hopefully that's not too confusing. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but uh, to sum it up, um, also the, the other aspect uh, of the first uh, verse that I quoted, God is unique. There's nothing like him. So if we say that, you know, human, that a human being, Jesus Christ, was God, that's not unique. You know, I, Jesus was born of a woman, same as me, same as you. We we're all born from women human beings we came from our mothers uh, uh, so so uh, the human being could ne never be God and human beings all have a definite end there's a time where they began and there's a time when they will die no human being lives forever God always was he has no beginning and no end so to say that you know God died this is uh, ill befitting the majesty of God God cannot die in order for him to be God, the meaning of him being God means that he cannot die. If he died, he could not be God. Then an attribute of God is that he is ever living. So to understand who God is, you have to believe that God is one, uniquely one, one whom there is like one whom is like unto no other. Is unique in his oneness. There's nothing like unto him. 
So that means anything that we see or that we know in this world cannot be God or cannot be compared to God because God is unique. He's not like anything that we've seen. No man has ever seen God. So it's not possible that God could be a human being or that God could have a son. These are human attributes. People, you know, are males and, and females and they get married and, and have children. And the reason they have children is because that they, one day they're going to die and they need, you know, their progeny to continue, you know, living on the earth to keep our race from dying out. We have children and they carry on after us, after we're gone. God never dies. So he has no need of having, a, a, you know, a prodigy after him. So, you know, to believe that God has a son is ludicrous. It makes no sense. Why would God have a son? <clears throat> it is ill befitting the majesty of God for him to have a son. So uh, hopefully that, you know, without going on and on, I mean, there's a lot of different aspects of it. I'm just scratching the surface, you know, trying to make this brief. Um, but that is the Muslim belief about uh, the Son of God. They don't believe that God has sons or daughters. He's one. Um, he was not created. Uh, he always will be. And he alone should be worshipped without partners. Uh, and the second question about uh, what do we believe in the Trinity, obviously, you know, that should... We don't believe in the Trinity. And actually there's a verse in the Quran where he says, instruct them not to say three. Don't say God is three. Say he is one. So uh, hopefully that answers the first two questions. Um, what do we believe about the Son of God and what do we believe about the Trinity?